Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Friday market webcast. All right, we got jobs in about half an hour. It's a little bit before 8 a.m. Eastern time as I'm doing this daily chart. And we talked about were the bears going to be able to hold the daily mid band, the 20 day, as resistance and keep this as a sell rallies market? The answer to that is a resounding yes. So they came up, tested it. Traded as high, you know, they tested the roundy at 5,600 as well. 5,600 spot 75, and then they dumped it. Then they dumped it. Did an over 100 handle move. Yesterday, for, I mean, just for us personally, it was the, one of the biggest days of the year. But I mean, you know, if, if you're going to get a candle like that, it, it, that's, you know, that's what you're going to get. Um, more weakness this morning. Um, they were playing around with the 60... The 5460 area most of the night. The current low is 5409. You can see the 100 day starting to come into play. We haven't dealt with that since late April. So um, getting to the um, getting the 100 day is not necessarily a bad thing for either side. Um, you have the potential to engage, re-engage that lower band. So. You know, it's it, there's there is a lot head going on heading into jobs. I'll be curious. Here's the hourly chart. I'll be curious to see what the reaction is if we get down here into the 5380s. Like it needs to, um, it's going to need to um, deal with that area. And I wouldn't be surprised if that area was a little bit of support. So we've talked about this a million times in the past. We're going to talk about it very quickly again today. Then I'm gonna, then I'm going to leave you to it. There's going to be a rally, maybe today, maybe Monday, soon, just based purely upon profit taking. You have people that got in pretty damn close to 5,600, us included. Um, you know, we got we we took our runners, but there are other people that you know. They've been taking off shares and stocks, and we're down to 5,400. So you've had all kinds of earnings. There's going to be some kind of a bounce. There is going to be a bounce, and the question is, how? do the bears react to the bounce so far they've reacted pretty well i mean they let this one go basically as far and as long as they could right up into the 20 day which at the end of the day made it a stronger move down why because they established a huge area like the middle bollinger band as resistance which tells people that want to put money to work in a variety of, 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 of underlying stocks that no, we are still sell, we're still sell rallies. This is not the time. It keeps them out of the pool. Other people sell and, and, and down we go and you make a lower low. So there'll be some kind of a rally off of this, maybe from here, maybe from below here. You can be long the rally, you can stand aside on the rally, but if you fight the rally short, what you're probably going to end up doing, practically speaking, is giving back a lot of the handles that you've earned during the course of this. People that short vol tend to love being short vol, and they want everything to be wily coyote off a cliff, shorting vol, and and you know, they end up giving it back, fighting very natural upside moves based upon profit taking. People are going to cover. Do we go back to the nine day? Do we deal with the 50 day? These are things that didn't really get dealt with on the way down. Do they need to get dealt with on the way up? I don't know. Maybe we kiss hourly mid and die. Maybe we go all the way down here, touch the underneath of the 100 and die. I don't know. Maybe we don't die at all. Maybe they V it. I don't know. Neither do you. Neither does whoever's yapping on, on CNBC. They don't know. Trade price. Deal with the 10 handles in front of you. The next 10 handles will take care of itself. But don't, don't seal off your mind to the idea of a bounce. Because the bounce is going to come. It'll come when it comes. When it does, don't fight it. Don't hand back a bunch of handles you don't need to. If you just can't buy it, if you just can't stand it, if it just pisses you off, stand aside. You're allowed. It's fine. You don't have to be in every single inch of the tape all the time. That's part of maturing as a trader. 
All right, lay of the land. Five minute mid band, 5417. Proprietary moving average, 5419. Volume weighted average price, 5433. You can see there, you've got nine days way up at 5488. The 100 days way down at 5388. And we're kind of dealing with what's in between. So we'll see what the jobs report says. We'll take our cues from that and we'll go from there. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. I'll talk to you Monday. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.